33 hours. That's how long it actually took me to build a real app and release it to the App Store. So, a few weeks ago I posted a video about app research process, how I'm looking for app ideas, and now I'm running 30 days challenge in my Indie App Accelerator community, basically teaching developers how to go from zero to release in the App Store. I validated like 20 plus app ideas and the winner is Box Breathing Calm ADHD application. It scored 17 out of 20 in my app validation framework and I'm solving real problem I have. My ADHD brain just refuses to focus every single morning. I need like quick mental reset before I can actually do deep work, you know? So I build this application and this is cool. I can reuse this breathing feature in my existing freediving application because that's about breathing as well. Not the same thing, but yeah, cool could implement that here as well. Here's where every single hour went. Idea research and validation took about a week, but I don't count it as a development time. It was validation, making sure I wasn't building something nobody really wants. And when I saw that, yes, the data saying kind of go, <laughs> it's time to build, then I only started to make it. As always, a little bit overcommitted, you know, I had, I have plenty of work on day job. Basically, I was finishing a relatively big project preparing for a launch. I was running this 30 day challenge in community, recording lessons for this 30 day challenge, supporting members with questions and so on, and doing this 30 day challenge myself. So I didn't have a lot of time for programming. And also I still wanted to go onto the gym on the mornings to keep my more or less healthy lifestyle that I have here in Thailand. So we are talking about few hours in a day. So here is my very first version of the application. To build application on time, I had to heavily rely on AI dev tools. Think like AI slow, but done it right, you know. And first I tried to build iOS and Android applications. Here is Android application. Here is basically the same application, but iOS version. I dropped this idea to build Android and iOS application because that Android application, I don't know, it doesn't look great. And iOS Nazer, and yeah, check out the code. Basically, I'm using Skip that allows you to build Android application using Swift and Xcode. But this project is already so bloated. I have all those uh, Skip packages added, everything, and the main application basically is just in two screens, basically three three files, but the project is already huge. So I started over and decided just building poor Swift, do not care about Android for now. And yeah, it's way more simple project. All the third party tools that I added is Mixpanel for analytics and Wishkit to get feedback from the users that I really wanted to have in the project. So no crazy dependencies, no crazy auto-generated uh, Android classes and so on. So I got my first version up and running and I gave it in the hands of my free test users. Those ways basically were family members and I kept it that simple. No onboarding, just mind screen with few buttons, that's it. But my first user struggled a bit to find where to tap, how to start the exercising. Also, end of the session wasn't clear enough. So I posted a video about that on Instagram and uh, X, like Twitter, and uh, my message was basically that yes, it's too simple, users can find start button, but I got feedback it's clear as day <laughs> where button is. Everyone will know that you should click this kind of pulsing uh, thing. And uh, I don't know. I decided, okay, whatever. I will I will leave it as it is. Just will make this text also click clickable to make it a little bit easier for users to find and whatever. I will ship like that. So yeah, this feedback was helpful, but it made me questioning everything. Is it even useful? There are hundreds of breathing applications in the App Store already. Maybe it is too simple. Maybe no one really needs it, but whatever. I decided to finish it anyways. And this kind of challenge framework helped because that will be just lame if I'm saying in the middle of the challenge. 
ah, you know, I decided to change my mind, whatever, I will go, I don't know, ride motorcycles instead. So, but based on feedback, I made quick fixes, and before I'm releasing into the test flight, I added better end screen, uh, showing progress and streak. I improved daily streak handling. I also added Apple AI framework to generate personalized end of the screen messages, end of the exercise messages, and um, yeah, integrated Apple Health for mindful time tracking. It's already started to feel probably good enough to be shippable product. Now when the session ends, you get a clear message and small dopamine hit. Looks better, sure, there are space for endless improvements, but I try to keep my project very simple. Actually, Icon is AI generated as well. Here is my prompt, it's very simple. I just uh, provided Icon examples and I just say generate Icon for app following this Icon style. And I basically in this chat, I already discussed about this application and ChatGPT already know what is the app, but if not, I will just say, okay, I will I will just explain the concept of the application. And here we have one of the versions <laughs> and I ask it just for two more and I basically like, oh, this one looks better, you know. So 33 hours of development work, including design reviews, icon generation, everything, that's, that's it. And not because I'm fast, because I cut everything that didn't matter. No backend, no user accounts, no social features, no analytics dashboard. Just one thing, breathing timer that works and do what I wanted. So I submitted my app for Apple review and I worried a lot that it will be rejected because it is too simple. I was surprised that Apple approved application from first try after first review. I think that Apple health integration pushing to iOS 26 and asking for iOS 26, adopting liquid glass, implementing Apple AI in the application, probably that helped me with review. So I released the application, posted a video about this application on YouTube, and now it was time to wait for users' feedback. And after one week, here is what actually happened. I can show you the data. There is few days delay, I'll always with Apple Analytics, but after one week, we have 144 downloads and uh, Conversion rate is quite good, actually, 16.2. That's not not bad, pretty solid. I'm happy about that. And we have 2.9 sessions for active device. So people are coming back, they are using application, and that session per active device is growing. Yesterday it was something like 2.6, something like that. Now we have 2.9. That's good. I like to see this one. 58% from downloads is from Apple search. Organic, no ads, nothing. And here is what's surprising me. Germany. <laughs> Guten Tag, guys. <laughs> 26 downloads. They just found it somehow. I don't know. Maybe Germans just really like breathing exercises. I'm surprised. But yeah, this result is basically zero paid ads, zero marketing budget, just ASO and posting about application on socials. Revenue is zero because I launched it free on purpose. And why? Because I wanted to know if people really would actually use it before I start optimizing for money. Because PayPal will fix nothing if I will add it. If application is not popular, no one needs it. So... Why bother, you know? Also, I already got two feature requests from users, which is nice. This one also going to the planet for sure. And yeah, that is cool that users asking for features because it means people actually care enough to ask for improvements. Okay, what's next? What's for next update, next release? I will add freemium paywall. And I'm glad that I didn't add Paywall for first release because with heavy traffic from Germany, I definitely have to have lifetime option in the application. Because just in case you didn't know, users in Germany care a lot about privacy and they hate subscriptions as well. They often choose to just pay lifetime access. All right, what are, <laughs> there should be some kind of lesson in this story as well, right? What those 33 hours of development and 30 days of project actually teach me? I will say that lesson number one is validation saves month. I spend one full week just researching, right? Keywords, competition, market size, all that boring stuff. 
it feels slow. You just, if you're a developer uh, or product person, you just want to jump in Xcode and start building, start coding already. But that first we can firm it that there is actually demand for application like that. People are searching for breathing applications. There is competition, which I could beat or just slice small slide, slice from big pie of breathing app revenue. And yeah, I was solving a problem I actually had for myself. Without that validation week, those 33 hours could be completely wasted building something nobody wanted. And I had a lot of other happy days. And uh, yeah, I did this mistake before. I built apps that no one really needs. But trust me, it's not the best when you how up in the app store for years and getting 120 downloads in lifetime. I have an app like that as well. Oh, no more statistics anymore. But this application, it was in the app store for a few years before I released, removed it and it got something like 120 downloads in, in a lifetime. Yeah, I do not see it. I basically removed it from the app store in 2014, so many years ago. But yeah, it was released in 2012. Crazy. Yeah, whatever. But this application in lifetime got something like 120 downloads. I, I had that experience before, you know. That was typical developer's mistake. I saw opportunity to build product based on features in the iOS and, and iPhone without researching is there a need for this product and so on. Anyways, it was fun project to build and I was happy to have application in the App Store, but... Financially, that was disaster. Lesson number two, AI tools are real. You know, you can say that AI is dumb, and it is. If you build something with AI, you know that how dumb it can be. But I built first version in just a few hours using Cursor and multiple AI agents working on the same project. It's crazy fast. Was the code perfect? No. Did it work? Yes. And AI didn't replace me, but it just compressed this learning, experimenting time and allowed me to move rapidly fast. Yeah, and also this Android experiment. I was able to test iOS plus Android in one evening. Then I made informed decisions that, oh no, I'm just going with iOS only and rebuilt it properly. That would take a weeks before. Now I build that, basically I did that in a few days. Lesson three is ship before you are ready. My first user literally couldn't find the start button. <laughs> I almost panicked and redesigned everything, but then I sharded my progress and my doubts, doubts on social media and they said it's fine, it's clear as day and so I didn't change it too much. So you're getting feedback from real or potential customers rapidly fast. When you're shipping it fast, when you're sharing your progress, that uh, feedback is it's, it's golden. And uh, now I have 144 people download an application using it. And yeah, I already got two feature requests. So people actually using, I got real users for the application. I'm getting real feedback. That's amazing. And my past me would basically keep building more features in this application before it is ready for release. So perfect is just enemy of ship it, you know. So do not make your products perfect. Ship it, ship them as fast as possible. Lesson number four, it's kind of a little bit tricky, but uh, yeah, it's kind of speed versus features. But I will say that simple actually wins. I have no onboarding, no gamification. Gamifi gamification 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 i can tell that <laughs> no onboarding no gamification no social features no fancy backend no leaderboards basically nothing just breathing timer that works i think that one feature that works perfectly beats 10 features that's kind of works right and this application is simple enough to ship it very fast but also good enough to solve the core problem I am targeting and also test mine keywords I would like to compete for, which is very also important. I have app in the app store, which is ranking up on keywords already and I'm validating, okay, are there downloads 
is the, is there potential for revenue and so on without real up in the app store you're just guessing you don't know so what's next what's in next release for the application i will probably add some retention boosters even currently retention looks good i think it always could be improved i will build freemium paywall application will stay free but i will add some premium features i will improve onboarding or add onboarding only if data will show that people are confused will not rush with onboarding yet and yeah next goal is get to 500 download throws also and keeping to rank up in app store search optimization ranks actually let's open astro up to see where we are today okay it is refreshed three hours ago so we have some movement so i'm i'm on Position two for not popular keywords, and here is keywords that I'm trying to beat. And uh, on box breathing keyword, I'm kind of sliding a little bit down now, but whatever. I'm trying to get box breathing keyword. We'll see how that will go. And then after AMP is released, when I will have paywall, my next goal will be get 200 bucks in the revenue and get 10 user reviews. So that's basically will be my goal for next version my application is not viral success story this is just day 30 of probably three years journey working on this application but if this would be my first application then it is changed from someone who would who wants to build applications into someone who ships apps in less than months so it's big mindset change and if you have free time in upcoming holiday season, try to do that as well. Do research, validate your app ideas, validate keywords, build and ship something. And as soon as your application in the App Store, you will start to get real feedback from app users and you will see what is your next step, what you would like to do next to improve your application, to improve monetization, improve retention, everything that is important.